Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel because you know you're welcome here, okay? And there's a couple things I need you to do for me, okay? I need you to make sure you're following me on Miss Rennie Smith on Facebook. If you have an Instagram page, follow me at Miss Rennie Smith Babies on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, you can subscribe now to my new exclusive IG chatterbox. Um, once you get into that subscription, make sure you join the social channel if you want to just stay connected all day. Um, you don't have to. It's just an extra add-on to the subscription. Um, and before we get started with talking about whatever we're going to talk about, because you guys know I don't like come up with things before I start. I turn the camera on. I just turn the camera on and just be like, okay, let's talk. So, <laughs> so um, I want to definitely give a shout out to the young artist that did my logo. I am so proud of what the artist was able to do with my vision. You know, told him what I wanted sent him a couple pictures of me and he took which one he liked <laughs> which was kind of cool because I had chose another like I was thinking of another face but he chose this face and I really like it so but I love the little bottle the detail details the details the details so I was able to get that on a onesie I have not decided just yet how I want to use these onesies. Um, I do know that I have other projects that are very um, exclusive to when you buy a full body from me. Um, I know that I won't be doing like selling the onesies. I won't be selling them because it's, it's, mm, I don't want to be running to the, to the post office for, you know, one package and then, you know, I don't know. It's like you'll be paying probably like $35 um, or better. And I won't be making anything off of it because between shipping and what it costs for the onesie itself, it, it'll be a ridiculous amount and I don't want to do that. So um, I really these are different little items that I want to, you know, incorporate in some of my box openings. I will have to say <laughs> this because... Um, if I don't, people will feel some type of way. Um, every box opening is different. So it, it, I don't have like a checkoff list that every single baby comes home with the exact same thing. Um, I do try to include my, you know, folder with paperwork in it. I do try to include a business card and, you know, that type stuff is kind of like becoming more standard for me. But I am trying to get it more organized so that when my Lola's get their babies, they have like their little stuff in order. So anyway, um, I tested out this particular company for these onesies and I love the actual quality of it all. I just, I'm not 100% in love with the fit as much for, you know, our newborn babies. This is newborn size and as you can see, it's it kind of got a lot of give here and stuff. Um, I prefer Carter onesies, but the comp this company don't allow me to use my own. So, I may be um, switching up the actual onesie itself. Let's see. Oh, I had a baby all laying here that was being rooted. I hate when I do that because then when I do my videos, it's like I have so much light and I'm like, I see every little fine detail. But anyway, so, um, so yeah, so it, it, I will be doing something like this, but if I can get my Carter's onesies, I will be happy. I'll be 100% happy with it. But, um, so yeah, so the, the artist name is Win Crates, W-I-N-C-R-A-T-E-S on Instagram. And, um, 
he does an amazing job. He also um, have done some canvas paintings for my daughters. That's been very beautiful. Um, so he's not one that just use like AI or anything like that. He he actually he literally draws. So that's uh, <laughs> that's why I I am so like excited over his artwork because I know that he's a natural artist. Um, and so yeah, so there's that. So. Like I said, if you guys could go over and follow his page, get his followers up. I mean, he really needs to be up there with followers because he does really great work. Um, and I, 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 I love when I can find someone that, you know, I can tell them what I want and they get it. And if they don't get it, you know, he'll be like. So are you meaning like this or like that? You know what I mean? And so I really love that. So. Yeah, so if you need logos and stuff like that done, artwork done, contact him. Um, and, and um, yeah. So anyway, um, Gigi is the Deanna Sculpt by Kathy Romero Biscuti. And she has been painted and rooted by me. Um, I am going to be working on some other projects soon um I'm also like you know I like to mix it up I know a lot of people think oh my gosh she's just gone silicone studio crazy I like dealing with them because they have really good customer service and I like that they have quality products babies kits and it's affordable but you don't miss the quality but I also like variety so I as you see I also for those that don't get stuck on the bubble gum will see that I also paint like other sculptors work and from other people so I am expecting uh, to do start working on some of my other uh, kits that I have here because believe it or not I have probably about 20 or so silicone kits that need to be painted here. And I just want to swap it up. But anyway, if you want to follow, like, you know, where I'm at, what I'm doing, see some of my work in progress pictures, et cetera, et cetera, with babies that I'm working on, follow me on Instagram. I will be sharing, like, some of my work in progress. I will be, um, right now... It's, you know, everything is progression. So I'm just kind of, it's, it's really just staying connected and just supporting me as a content creator slash artist. You know what I mean? Um, and it's okay if you don't want to do that. I just want people to understand that, you know, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, she wants to charge for everything. She wants to get paid. Listen, yes, it's a business for me. And so, yeah, I do like getting you know, a little bit compensated. And when I do things like when I send out love mail and giveaways and stuff like that, I know people do it and they do it all on their dime. That's fine. Um, some of this stuff kind of helps me be able to do that. Also, I spend a lot of time in um, making content and, you know, sharing information with you guys. So I've been doing this thing since 2012. 2013 somewhere in there so I've been on here for a long time guys <laughs> so I put in my work so um I will continue to do what I do do what I love um continue to be grateful and humble that you guys um show me so much love and that you guys always always keep me encouraged that to me is like golden and um, I don't ever want to get the big head and feel like I'm somebody big, somebody special. You know what I mean? I mean, I, we all should feel like we're special, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be like cocky. You know what I mean? Like I'm doing you guys a favor because really it's all about the customers. The customers make you who you are. They, they are not, you are nothing without just buyers. Like for real, I don't know who came up with the concept to think that you're all that. 
and your buyers are like the little pigeon heads uh, because that is that that whole thought process is just dumb to me. Like, baby, you can't pay your bills without me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so anyway, I just appreciate you guys. Now, Gigi is an older sculpt, but she is. She just, for me, my Gigi, <laughs> and I've seen Gigi's that I love, like other Gianna's that I love, but my Gigi is just special for me. And I took so long to actually finish painting her. It was like a little paint here, a little paint there. And, you know, I don't know how or why or what made me just really, really just connect with her, but it's just something about her. And, um, so I think it has a lot to do with, um, I struggle with, um, and I think I kind of explained this before. I struggle with the lighter tones to where it's a, it's hard to say like it, that, that color where it's like not dark not light light that very in between yeah I can't explain it but it's a I don't know I don't know how to I don't I really don't know how to explain it but it's hard for me to reach her her color and so um that's why I got really excited about it I think um Emmy also has a skin tone that is kind of a little bit hard more challenging for me to reach and it sounds weird because I paint I use I usually paint in a lighter tone some in most times with my my babies and my new babies but I don't even know what I'm trying to say here but I just it's, it's a certain color that I've been trying to hit like my entire time of painting and it's very hard to do twin B when I painted twin B he kind of hit that color and I want to say it might have been Aspen. I don't know. But I, I definitely Twin B was a color. But I played around with some things and did stuff that I normally didn't do with, with that particular baby. And I didn't like. I'm not going to say I didn't like because I loved him. But he didn't have that translucency that I like in him. And that was a reborn. But still. Um. And so it kind of bothered me, even though he was beautiful and I loved him and I was glad that I reached that color. But he didn't have the translucency that I normally have with my baby. So I wasn't like satisfied with myself. And this is stuff like behind the scenes and I'm sure other artists can can relate. Um, people that may not paint at all. Because some of you guys that collect paint other things and are, are, are actually artists in other areas and stuff um but I don't know it's like certain babies are like milestone babies and it's like it's like you be so excited that you accomplish a certain thing and it don't even always have to be with actually the painting itself it could be a particular detail that you were able to get into a baby or it could be even with a particular root style rooting style or um, and for those that are new, when we say rooting, we mean the hair, how we install the hair. We do it with a needle and we call it rooting. And it's so funny because, um, you know, people refer to root rooting as like sometimes as like voodoo or witchcraft or whatever you want to call it. And so when I say I rooted the baby, someone, <laughs> someone went crazy on me in the comments one time on a post on Facebook because I said that and so I don't even know what other what other word can we use to describe it like the way you install the hair I guess I don't know so I guess I hear some people say hair in, installed or whatever but I can't stay long because I actually gotta go wake my baby up um so she can get up for breakfast and all that stuff but um yeah, so main thing takeaways from this video is I appreciate you guys. I know that you guys are the MVPs. It's not about me. It's about you. And the other thing is support this young artist. Get his followers up on Instagram. 
Um, he definitely deserves it. He works hard. He's a natural artist. He's not um, cheating the system. He's humble. And I would love to see him blow up because his work is amazing. So, Win Crates <laughs> on Instagram. And if you go to the community tab, I actually even shared the link there. And let's get his followers up. I'm going to do a little bit of a thank you appreciation when he gets to 1500 subscribers. So I'm going to do a little bit of like a little merch giveaway type thing. So it'll be probably like one of my new onesies with the logo on it. Some other stuff with the logo on it probably. That type stuff. I'm going to be, I'm slowly getting my products in. So as I get it all together, I'm going to do a little package and I'll do a whole video and remind you guys. And so therefore, you know, if you follow, make sure you go back to that, that comment, um, that post on, um, the community tab where I said comment below, if you've already followed and hit follow. And I mean, tell me that you followed. And if your name is different from what it is on Instagram, make sure you, you know, give me your name on Instagram so I can verify so I can add it in the uh, hat of potential people to receive and we'll I'll get more into the specifics of how I want to do that but I definitely when he gets up to 1500 um I'm gonna do a merch giveaway all right I'll see you guys later thanks for watching bye bye